Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have another multimeter. It's an older one and it's from Philips and it's the PM2521. And uh, it is actually more than a, four, a few digits. It's like four and a half, I think. And uh, well, let's have a closer look and see how it performs and we can open it up also. And maybe if it doesn't perform that well, we just uh, try to adjust it if uh, possible. So let's have a closer look. Well, here it is, the Philips 2521. Um, you can also do temperatures, you need a special probe, I don't have that. But uh, we can do, it is a little frequency counter also, so we will do some uh, tests. Um, yeah, this is still when it was Philips, so it is all brown before it was gray and uh, blue. But this is the not the blue line, this is the red line. So I'm not sure if the the red one maybe comes above the blue one or it's just a completely different series that, that I'm not sure. It can even measure microvolts. That is cool. Look at that, I didn't know that. Microvolts. Millivolts here in the trigger. Milli ohms even. Wow, nano amps. Oh, this meter is precise. Well, I know it's still working. Let's have a look how good. Um, DC volts, easy to test when we switch it on. It does some sort of calibration. I don't know if you need to do that shorted or open. Let's just try uh, open. I have here my uh, DMM check plus been running for a while it should be exactly five volts so let's have a look okay it agrees that is nice let's see what if we do the milliamps this should be exactly one milliamp Okay, almost. Not bad. We can do the resistors. One hundred K. Yes, it thinks it's one hundred K. And let me get my seat because one hundred K is not actually one hundred K. One hundred point zero. 87 yeah that would be exactly spot on 10k 10k is 10.0037 not bad close enough 1k 1.0003 okay well this is very very close 100 should be 100.015. Okay, that almost. Uh, we can also do DC AC AC voltage, but with the older RMS meters, they could do a little bit uh, different. Yeah, it is a little bit off here because I think that's a difference between normal AC or RMS or true RMS. Or this is just off call. This, I'm not sure how much. Oh, am I now on 10K? Okay, let's go back to 100 Hz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also it's a little bit off here. And what if we do that with the current? This should be a little bit less than one. This should be no 1001. Oh, oh, one. Okay, so it's also a little bit more. 
Well, that was not too bad, just taken out of uh, the storage. So let's see if we can open it. It seems like two screws. Look at this, a lot of metal. The power supply is here in the back. Okay, yeah, this is all nicely protected. Even though the meter is plastic, it is fully shielded. That is really nicely done. Oh, I can even get the transformer out. This looks a bit scary to be honest. It is not grounded. They took you don't have a ground pin here and the transformer is very very small I think they want it to be floating doesn't look bad for its age you prone then there is even or it's a test pin or you can add an extra option Look at the switch right there. Just like the old multimeters, also the portable ones is more or less the same. Contacts also in the front. Okay. Well, I see a lot of little pots. So maybe if I can find the documentation. We can maybe adjust the AC a little bit. So on the higher frequencies, we need to put this trimmer on AC. So I'm now on a 10K. And then it should be to 5 volts. Let's see what that does on 100 Hertz. Okay, that doesn't change. That's good. Okay. Back to 10K. Let's try to get that a little bit better. But AC is always difficult. Okay, 100k, 100 hertz. Ah, better. Okay, and for the current, should be exactly. Let's see for AC. So I went through times through all the settings. I'm now as close as I can get it. Uh, most of the values are spot on. AC current is still a bit difficult. I need to find out why, but usually the meters are less precise on AC anyway. I also saw the same on my uh, Sigland, but uh, we're getting close. So I will uh, close it up, clean it a bit, and do the last checks when it's closed. Okay, frequencies, 10k, 100 hertz, 
voltage. Five volts. And on the higher frequency. Well, that improved a lot. DC voltage. Uh, okay, DC, I lost my last digit a little bit, that is a pity. Go to the DC current. Perfect. The AC current, I didn't get better than this. Let's see the arms. Well, the arms are already good, I just adjusted slightly. So here we have the 10k, that was already 10 and a bit. 100. Well, for resistors with two wires, this is not bad at all. Let's have a look at the DC and then it is good. Okay, that was a nice quick one. Um, we had to look, we clean a little bit. I opened the inside, was able to adjust a little bit, and uh, now it's, uh, ooh, now the last stitch comes again. Well, it's still a little bit sensitive for the temperature also. But uh, it improved, and uh, well, I'm, I'm not using it too much, so maybe I'm trying to find uh, another owner for this one. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.